You've been hearing us talking about law of attraction and we want to say to you that law of attraction is the most powerful law in the universe. It's the law that understands vibrational frequencies and brings frequencies that are the same together. So what you're thinking is causing you to offer a vibration and that vibration is an emanation of vibration and law of attraction is finding things that match it and showing them to you. And at first, they're small the longer you think about them the bigger they get but the more you give your attention to anything the stronger your point of attraction becomes about it so if there are things or people or experiences that you would really like to experience think about them more and often you say well I don't know how I could think more about this obsession I have <laughs> I just don't know how I could think any more about it and we say but we want you and by the end of this day we want you to really feel it clearly we want you to be able to differentiate between whether you are obsessed with what you want or whether you are obsessed with the absence of it because it's a rather fine line you think you're thinking about what you want because you're thinking about what you want you're using the word about what you want lover money lover money lover money lover money <laughs> is all we're getting from this crowd But often what's going on is rather than thinking about the experience that you really want, you are aware of where you stand in relationship to it. So the absence of it is what is dominant in your experience. And because it's been dominant for a while and you've been observing the absence of what you want for a while, now you have a belief, a belief, a belief about the absence that is stronger than your desire about the presence. And when your desire is what it is, but your belief is stronger, your desire doesn't move toward you or you don't move toward it. Or better said, you don't rendezvous with your desire. You have to be at least not offering the contradictory vibration. Now, did you hear those clarifying words? You have to at least not be offering. Of course, it would be far better if you're thinking about what you want purely what you want but if you can't think purely about what you want then don't think about it at all that's at least not doing something that contradicts it you see what we're getting at lobotomy would help it would <laughs> but so much goes with that <laughs> meditation helps because when you quiet your mind you stop thought and when you stop thought you stop resistance but you can't meditate all day your employer wants some of your attention <laughs> When you're driving, don't meditate. <laughs> so focus is the only answer. You have to figure out how to focus yourself into alignment with your desires. And we think that sometimes you think that there's really no point in focusing on your desire because you don't believe it's going to happen anyway. And we say that's sort of where we started, isn't it? We want to say to you that everything that you want, no matter what it is, is possible for you to achieve. There are no exceptions to that, but you cannot focus upon something that's missing and experience what you want. You have to focus upon what you want. When you talk about what you want and why you want it, you often get into that more general place that allows you to focus purely with no resistance. But when you get more specific, like, well, how will it come? Or when will it come? Or where will it come from? Or who will bring it? Or who will it be? When you ask those more specific questions to which you don't have answers, then you introduce through the specifics contradiction to your vibration and it slows everything down. When, when you talk about what you want and why you want it, you often can stay in a more general place. And so that's really the key to getting more of what you want. We know that you come because you are wanting to be part of this leading edge discussion. We know that you come because you are looking for clarification on some specific things. We know that you come because you're wanting to contribute with your knowledge and your beingness to the whole of this forum. We know that you come for the vibrational vitality that often comes by focusing from the core of that which you are. 
you just can't focus here very long without coming into vibrational alignment with who you really are and so your feelings of well-being and your feelings of worthiness and your feelings of elation and passion begin to return to you as you focus here with us just for a little while on the well-being of your life experience but we want to show you how you can focus in your life experience in specifics and still be in alignment and that is the thing that is most difficult for most of our human friends because we love you very much you always know something's coming right after that <laughs> we love you very much but for the most part the more specific you get the more resistance you introduce into the equation and that just trips you up and freaks you out because you want to be specific you do you are genius creators you are elaborate creators you are leading edge creators you did not come forth into this time space reality to hide your head in the sand or to meditate all day in order to stop resistance you came figuring that you could manage your focus enough that you could deliberately create and specifically deliberately create because it's not fun to be less specific when you are a leading edge creator like you are in other words when we say to you if you'll get real general you'll feel a lot better and you practice it and you feel better you say yeah I feel better but I'm really bored and we say we know you are you got to be bored when you have as much data surrounding you as you do you want to be specifically focused in fact you want so much to be specifically focused that you'll choose negative over positive because you want to be specifically focused we're just here to remind you you don't have to give up positive for specific but you can't start there often you can't just jump from really 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 knowing what you don't want to really 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 knowing what you do want there's too much vibrational momentum or inertia already going so you got to slow it down get general practice the general thought the general thought of well-being are you following this well then we're done <laughs> because if you've got that then all you have to do is go practice it and so that was a very short seminar <laughs> we hope you got your money's worth it will carry you to the end of this life experience and on and on and on and on there's nothing that we could tell you that would be more important to you than what you just heard I don't want to admit meditating is hard <laughs> for me <laughs> or has been but if I get better at meditating and then all these other things will be so easy are you telling us that your mind is cluttered like your desktop <laughs> so when you sit to meditate you can't clear your mind it's just a belief you keep thinking bogus belief you've been telling me that for years <laughs> maybe you don't want to quiet your mind just like Esther doesn't want to give up the stuff in her boxes are you afraid to give up thoughts for fear they'll go away and never come back are you worried about releasing thoughts and getting into a non-thought place and then you'll be so detached that you can't get back is there some rationale or irrationale to that I don't know maybe maybe letting go of thoughts is losing control but it isn't that's what you think it's complete gaining of control so we're gonna give you specific to you and if it feels like it fits you then it's for you too you're really gonna like this instead of meditating instead of calling it meditation which is one of those big words that you've already decided you're not good at or it doesn't work for you or that you don't want to do or whatever it doesn't matter instead of meditating say to yourself I'm going to sit for 15 or 20 minutes not more and reach for a place of satisfaction just a place of satisfaction Esther has been following our encouragement to meditate she knows that we encourage her to listen to a fan listen to the air conditioning just find something to focus upon actually not that rewarding but it really works for her and then yesterday for the first time she went with friends to a place where there was a guided meditation here in the city in a crystal salt room you might know about it if you're from around here and at first Esther thought this is really silly because I know how to meditate <laughs> I get deep and I get deep fast and I like it and I'm good 
Abraham would give me an A for meditation. I'm really good at meditation. So what am I doing? Why am I going to do it with others? I know it's not more powerful with their others. I know I don't need to be guided because I've already got guidance. So she just went because it sounded fun to go with her friends and they wanted to go and they, went and they encouraged her and she wanted to go and she wanted to be with them. So she went and they got there and very nice people. There were 10 of them that were going to go into this room and they had them all sit on a bench, which was kind of cute and made her feel like she was in grade school again. <laughs> they encouraged them to take off their shoes and she was always happy to do that. Gave them some little booties and talked a little bit about the room and what the salt room that they were going to go into. And Esther didn't know. She had heard it was a cave. So she didn't know what to expect. It was in a building, so she wasn't sure what the cave was going to be. And when they walked inside, it was delightful because they had taken the salt crystal that had been imported from somewhere and it was all around on the walls it had been installed like your fireplace brick might be but the most delightful thing was that there was like a sand floor but it was salt crystals and so they were walking into it and it was deep and really soft and really fun and really weird and not like anything she'd felt under her feet before it was just delightful and the room was fragrant with something that they were pumping in and there was a fountain or two that was making lovely fountain sounds and there was some very soft music playing and it was an entirely different environment than Esther had ever sat in before to meditate in before and then the very nice woman who sort of gave them the rules of consider the other people and Esther chose a nice comfortable chair almost like a lawn chair to sit in and she likes to sit up when she meditates and did and she liked feeling her toes in that stuff and then Esther thought this is just so satisfying then she just listened oh satisfying sounds satisfying people satisfying stuff under my feet satisfying it was just so satisfying it was so satisfying Esther didn't care if she was going to meditate or not she didn't care what was going to happen in there just being in there was satisfying and then the woman began a guided meditation it was so pleasant right on focus on nice things where whatever she was inspired to say was just right and Esther sat there and just liked everything about it so much and then the woman said I'm going to leave you she left the room and just left everyone to it and Esther just sat there in satisfaction with goosebumps on her body just satisfied just satisfied and then she was observing she was doing something different than she had ever done because our teaching of meditation is to quiet your mind and this instructor was talking to them about what to focus upon focus upon your breathing or focus upon the air behind your lungs in the back of you in other words she was giving them some specific things to focus on and Esther was softly following her encouragement and focusing on all those things but what was happening in this guided meditation is that as Esther followed it she was being guided to thoughts that had no resistance they were very general thoughts very general thoughts and on each chair they would placed a chunk of this salt crystal and Esther picked hers up and she thought this is weird because she doesn't believe in needing something to enhance and then she thought wait a minute everything in this room is enhancing my satisfaction everything in here is enhancing my satisfaction this mine too so she put that crystal in her hand and fell in love with it immediately it just had this really nice feeling to it now this was different Esther wasn't really quieting her mind but you know what she didn't need to because the whole point of quieting her mind is so she can find thoughts of satisfaction and she was so surrounded by thoughts of satisfaction that she didn't have to quiet her mind you see what we're getting at there are so many ways that you can go about so many things there's not just one way to do things we teach quiet in your mind Esther likes to listen for a fan because there's sound like that in every hotel room and there's not a salt cave in every hotel room <laughs> if Esther becomes dependent upon the salt cave and the fountain and the smells and the guy then she's gonna meditate only when she comes here you say but satisfying satisfying so go put your feet in some cool water somewhere find some place that's really comfortable in other words just decide that you're going to sit for 15 or 20 minutes and be satisfied and don't call it meditation anymore doesn't matter how you get into alignment
this is a really good time for a really satisfying lunch. We'll see you tomorrow. We are complete.